Here's a command I believe you will find very useful. It's the get dash event log. Now, if I don't press anything after this, as far as a parameter goes, I'll press enter and it asks for which type of log name. So I'll just say, for example, security, hit enter, and it's going to scroll through all the different security logs. Now, of course, that's not necessarily what I want. I want to be able to filter down so I can look for specific information and just have it show me what I want to show it. So we're going to show some specific parameters that I think you'll find are the most useful. Now, there's a lot of different switches that uh, are also called parameters that you know come with get-event-log, uh, but not all of them I have found to be as useful, but some are extremely useful. So let's take a look. I'll just clear the screen and we'll do the get dash event log. And I'm going to do the list. So I'll type in dash list. And this shows me a list of all the different types of log files there are. We see application, hardware, security system, and it also shows how many entries in each one. So let's look for specific ones. I'm going to do get dash event log newest and we'll put in 10. So it'll show me the last 10 different events that happen. And take a look at the index. You see the index over there. I can filter by just a single log file by just typing in the index number. So I'm going to hit the up arrow and replace the newest with the word index and then the index number. And I want to look at index number 2272 and hit enter. And there is my just my one log file that I wanted to show up. But the message is not showing the whole thing. I want to see the entire message. So what do I do to get that to show up? So I'll use the exact same command I just did, but then I'm going to put in the pipe command, which is just underneath the backspace key. And I'm going to type in format dash list and hit enter. Now it gives me all the information that is in that message. So that way I can look for error codes or anything else that may be going wrong with my computer when I go ahead and do that. There's going to be others that don't show you quite as much information. So for instance, if I change that to a six, we look at that, we see that message. That's hardly anything there. It just says successfully scheduled software protection. So now what we've done is we've done the get dash event log. We've looked at the log name, the index, the formatting. Let's take a look at how we can find a specific word in your log. So that way you don't have to search through all of them. I'll back up. So we're at get dash event log followed by log name application. And let's start at the top of the screen to make it a little bit easier. So now what I'm going to do is type in dash message. Then I'm going to put in star description star. So what it's going to do is it's going to look for any log file with the word description in it, if there are any. Hit enter. And now it's found, oh, about a page worth of logs. And you can see here the description for event ID, blah, 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 that kind of thing. So it just looks for those particular things. So if you have a specific word, maybe you're looking for the word uh, error or you're looking for uh, some other type of uh, problem log file, then you should be able to do that simply by typing that command, put stars on either end of it, and then the word you want in the middle. Let's look at one more way that we can filter down logs. And that is by using entry type. So we put in dash entry type, and then we take a look at the different types of logs. So there are many different types of logs. There are six actually total. There is uh, critical, there's error, there's informational, you know, things like that. So maybe we just want to look for error logs. So if there are any error logs, I'm going to type in error. Let's see if we have any. And it looks like there's a, a, a small bunch of error logs. So we can see what errors we have. And if we do the format list, then we can get uh, more information about those particular errors. Now, if we want to say, hey, you know, that's, that's great, but I really want to get that off to a file. So one thing we can do here is we can do the caret to the right, and we can type in C colon backslash. I'll call it error.log, and it'll pipe the information over to that particular file. So if I go over to 
There it is, my file explorer. There's my error log right there. And it gives me all the information that I asked for in that command. Now, if you'd like to get more information about this, you can type in get dash help followed by the command. And it shows you all the different switches that you can use with this particular commandlet get dash event log. So hopefully that will get you going if you need to be looking at event logs either on your own computer or on another computer.